right, what's up guys? Welcome to SPM Buzz. We have Saudi TV and of course Tumbili TIV. We are right here at Uhuru Park for the Shu Gen Z Memorial Concert. We have the one and only Kaskazini. How are you doing? I'm alright. Uh -huh. Yes, super so, happy to be here. Uh, maybe uh, talking about this day, this memorial concert, what yes. does it mean to you? I mean, it's, uh, it's both, it's yeah. mostly sad yeah. because I would much rather we have this concert out of happiness. But we are here gathered to remember young people that we've lost to a regime that has gone mad. I would liken this regime to a rabid dog which just bites anyone. And it's so sad that we've had to lose over 30 lives and 200 people whose lives are never going to be the same again. So it's sad. I mean, we remember them happily um, and thank them for their heroism. But it just take a signature for no blood to die. But I'm so sad that we had to lose lives. It is sad that we had to lose lives. But I'm grateful we came here. It's been such a successful concert. The young people of Nairobi have said it's now or never. It's not about us being leaders of tomorrow, but it's us being the leaders of now. Uh -huh. And we are grateful for that opportunity. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like you've mentioned, of course, it's sad. We've seen hundreds of youths turn up to show love. Thousands, to you mean? Yeah. Yes. Uh, show up to uh, show love to uh, lives that were lost during the protest. Yes. In maybe other way, do you think there could be a better way we could honor these lives? We are honoring them in the best way we can uh -huh. because we are demonstrating, we are occupying, we are saying their names uh -huh. and we are not relenting or giving up on the cause. Uh -huh. We are staying true to it. Uh -huh. We are saying down with this corrupt regime. Uh -huh. We are saying down with this regime which wants to kill young people. Yeah. And we are saying we are not going to lose any more lives to a regime that is self-serving. Uh -huh. That's what we've said. And I think this is the best way we could honor them. And we've condoled with the families. We've visited with some of the families. We've sent money. We've contributed. Mm -hmm. I think we're doing well as Kenyans. Mm -hmm. The best thing you can also do is to be united. Yeah. Because there are very many uh, voices that will come and try to divide us. Uh -huh. But we've said that Kenya is ours and it's our business. Mm -hmm. And we will do it and we'll fight for it to the death. Mm -hmm. Yes. You've, made, you, you've obviously been in the front line during the demos. You have been vocal on social media concerning the demos. Probably, um, do you think enough is being done from the government? From the government, no. From the people, absolutely. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying it's just up to us to continue pushing. Mm -hmm. It's up to us to keep on doing our respective civic duties mm -hmm. um, and to ensure that uh, this regime goes. Uh -huh. And by, when, by this regime, I mean all corrupt officials, all people who try to devise us along lines of tribe, mm -hmm. uh, any sort of division, mm -hmm. will ensure that those kinds of people go. Uh -huh. Yeah. Did you attend the meeting on X? Space? I attended the parallel space. I didn't attend the president's uh -huh. space because the intention was that we would boycott that space. Yes, yeah, so I never attended the president's space. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I've listened to some of what people have said about it, and uh, yeah, I don't think it was satisfactory to, to if you ask me. Uh -huh. Yeah. Since the demonstration started, we've seen you arrested. We've seen you all over the place. You have been there. Right now, are you safe? I mean, we, you cannot claim safety in a country which kills innocent people. Mm -hmm. You cannot say that uh, these people died because they were demonstrating. There were, some of them were found in their homes. Yeah. So I don't know about my safety, but I know that uh, if I do my honest part, my children are going to be safe if God blesses me with children. Uh -huh. And my siblings, my younger siblings, the people who come after us are going to be safe. Uh -huh. And that's, that's, that's what matters to me. Uh -huh. yeah. And maybe since then, maybe uh, when you were abducted, how has life been for you? I mean, scary. And life has changed. I can't just eat anywhere. I can't just go anywhere. It's scary, but I mean, it's what we said. See, we said we are fearless, and we said we'll do it scared and unafraid. So that's totally fine. Uh -huh. Yeah. Do you think we should continue embracing dialogue, or should we go back to the streets? What dialogue? We don't need dialogue. We just need the president to follow the constitution. We need this government to. We need him to maintain a leaner government. We need him to do away with corrupt officials. Uh, all those unconstitutional offices to be taken away. Make IDs accessible pay interns, doctor interns, pay junior secondary school teachers, uh, give the youth jobs. Well, that, that's not a thing for dialogue. If you ask dialogue, he can dialogue. I mean, he's a Kenyan just like any of us. But we want him to follow the constitution. We want them to do the thing that we actually pay them to do. Uh -huh. Yes. Since you've been in the front line uh, in this whole story, we have had the memorial concert today. What next? I don't know. I can't speak for the movement. Yeah. I just know that if a call is made by fellow Kenyans, I will be there no matter what. Uh -huh. I will be there for any cause as passionately as I have been from the first day, no matter what, yes. Right. yes. A message to the Gen Z, to the millennials. Let nobody tell you that you're the leaders of tomorrow. We're yeah. the leaders of today. We have brought the government to its knees and we have said that we will not take anything less than proper governance. Don't give up. I know it's a sad, depressing time, but do not give up. Uh -huh. 
do not give up at all. We are so close to the finish line. I can feel it. Let's do this. We can do it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Now the, third, the second question, who usually design these posters? Who come up with those ideas? I really do not know. But when you show up, I share them. I'm just like, I'm able to be late. You are with me, you are with me, you are with me, you are with me. But I've just said, Ata wewe ukisema tu andamane kesho kutoka MH ukitwita maandamano Tuesday mtakuta so, so you guys you don't know who designs these posters who comes up with the idea like today okay now the, to my first question you, you have also said you know the future of Gen Z now that we are leaders because they say that a leaderless organization like is most likely not to be affecting the long run so yeah. can you say about that I mean we might be leaderless but that does, that does not mean that we have a shortage of good leaders Leaders are gonna come up. Where will enjoy if you do proper civic education in your constituency? Kiswama, they will give you. Mimi ni kienda kuingine, uwe 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 kienda kuingine. If all of us infiltrate all these things, we might be leaderless, but we'll realize we are the change that Kenya needs. So you perceive in the long run, Gen Z will have a leader? I totally, not one leader, many, many leaders. Many strong and good leaders. So, I believe it to the bottom of my heart. So what, what's your message to those people who say they don't want to be, to have, to Gen Z, to have a leader? We don't need to have a leader right now. We don't need to have a leader right now because right now we are holding the government to book and to, act, uh, to account. But when the time for leadership comes, I urge everybody, put yourself in there. Now to my third question. Yes. What do you say to other countries like, because uh, I've heard like a country like Nigeria and Ghana, they are also going for, for a demonstration. Yes. What do you, what, what my message to them? Viva, viva, viva. It is the youth who've always done it and we will continue to do it. We will do it and do not be afraid to our comrades in Nigeria, in Angola, in Mozambique, Botswana, Ghana, everyone who's been sending all these messages. Do it. We are behind you as you have been behind us. Yes, viva to the youth of Kenya. Godam, 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 yes. What's up, my G? You're good. Thanks for coming. What can you tell Kenyans on this special day? Don't give up. Don't give up on it. Yeah, man. Don't give up on the movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, just a last one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what do you guys feel like after the Ruto has converged you engage with the citizens of Kenya and they have talked to the ex? What's your what's your perspective? What's your feeling about the, the ex? you've been likened to the late Tomboya. What can you say about that? I have nothing, man. I'm just a <laughs> private citizen. Yeah. That's what the people think. That's totally fine. Yeah. Okay, and and and, and uh, Kasumuel, eh? so far so good. Are you thinking could I keep the fun advantage? Yama? Ah, to go south. To go south. So there's a process. Some could have process. Okay. Amazing. Thank you so much. Amazing.